friends, Letty here. Welcome back to my channel, The Eerie Fairy Tale. Today, I'm going to be going over my May wrap-up. Yes, May from, you know, more than a few months ago, but that is the month I moved in. It put me way behind, but I did get some reading done, so that's good. I did get four books read, and I'm going to do a little bit different here on uh, the order that I go over them in. I'm not going to do it in the order I read them in. I'm just going to go in the order of my least favorite to most favorite. So I'll go ahead and start out with Letters to a Young Poet by Rilke. It's a short little one, and I believe it's 10 letters, and it's a young officer that writes to Rilke asking for advice on whether he should continue his um, being in the military or he should pursue being a poet. And so those are these letters. Um, some of the writing I did enjoy, not all of it though. I would say I'm glad I read it. It's a good classic to have read, um, and I would give it a three star. The next book is written by a lady who used to have a channel here on YouTube, and I think it has since been taken off. She got censored, I'm sure, unfortunately, but at the end of all her streams, she would have a really creative closing statement, and I always complimented her on them because I really loved her writing, and it was so poetic, prolific, it was poignant, it was just wonderful. And so she ended up putting them all together in a book. So I was like, that's awesome. I need to get that. So I went ahead and got it and read it. And that is All Endings Are Beginnings by Lindsay Corey Sharman. It's another short little book here. And all of the closing statements are not more than a page. Some maybe are a paragraph or so. Some are a little longer where they take up more of the page there. Um, but I did want to share one in particular with you. This is called The Layers We Don't Know. There are more layers than we know, and the path toward peeling them away is never ending. You have not yet arrived. You are not yet done. If you stop, now or ever, you will never find truth, and you will never live free. Always keep pushing beyond your current understanding of what is, so that you do not stagnate under the film of scum called arrogance and the weight of lethargy called complacency. Bleed fresh with the newly removed layers, exposure to the air of truth in order to push out the pathogens of ignorance. Let the healing recreate you. Keep moving. I wouldn't rate this because it's more like creative writing, but I did enjoy it and I would recommend it. And the next book here is one that I was supposed to get done in April, but obviously that didn't happen, but I did finish it in May. It was one that a lot of people have hyped up and I read the previous trilogy, the Shadow and Bone trilogy, so I'm sure you know what book I'm talking about now. I read that trilogy, really enjoyed it, and this one had been really hyped up, so I had higher expectations for it, and that was Six of Crows by Leap Bardugo, and I just thought it was okay. I mean, I did tab quite a bit. Um, I think quite a bit of it though had to do with the story itself, although there's a couple of things in here that I have like art ideas for, like this is really cool. I like to do like some kind of recreation of that in some way. So I have a couple, like a couple art ideas from here, so that's cool. Um, but it just didn't live up to the expectation, I guess, and I didn't really particularly like any of the characters like people really love the morally gray aspect of them I guess I don't know I just wasn't that much into it for some reason but it was an enjoyable read I mean I did it Dan up it <laughs> so that's something I think I gave this either a four no because I gave Shadow and Bone a four star so I must have given this a three and a half I think I gave this a three and a half and then the fourth and final book I read in May is another pretty popular one and I am glad that I read it um, I initially tried listening to the audiobook but the chapters are so they flip so quickly between um, different timelines and it was getting hard to follow and so I was just like I'm just gonna get the physical copy and I'm glad I did um, that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab and <laughs> my title is starting to go invisible it's like rubbing off I don't know what that's about it's kind of weird but I did have quite a bit in here uh, there's some really beautiful writing in here um, there's also like little different like pages with art on it and those have 
different significance, which you find out when you read in the book. Um, I forgot to say what Six of Crows is about, although most people I'm sure know, but it's like a heist story. It's a bunch of misfits. They get together and they have to go steal something. And the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Um, this is set like in the sixth, what is it, of the 18th century um, in France. And this young lady is supposed to be getting married and she doesn't want to do that. She wants to have her own life. And so instead she inadvertently makes a deal with darkness and she gets her wish but she doesn't really exactly understand what she asked for and the implications of that and what the darkness really meant by the deal they made and so basically she can live forever but she cannot ever use her name nobody can ever know who she is really so that's the invisible life of Addie LaRue however she does things throughout her life where she's still able to leave her mark and so it goes over your name, identity, um, you know, your meaning of life, and just really beautiful writing. So I gave this, I believe, a four star, and I would highly recommend it. Um, I think this would be considered like a literary fiction with some slight fantasy elements, maybe magical a little bit, since the whole making a deal with darkness and the living for centuries, <laughs> you know, I would say that's a bit fantastical. Six of Crows fantasy as well. So I read, let's see, poetry, some creative writing, a fantasy, and a literary fiction. Uh, so yeah, that'll wrap it up for my May reading. And then the next video I have coming up here will be my June wrap up. I have a stack of books for that. I read seven books plus a short story and then in July I think I read 10 novels, two novellas, and a graphic novel and in August I read I think like 11, 12, or 13 books. I don't know something like that so I gotta get started on those videos too so thank you so much for watching this May wrap up. I will see you guys in the next one.